Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we're back with another Call to Arms Gatesville Osprey tutorial. And this time we're talking fortifications and what can your engineers actually build. So this will include the Germans, the Russians, and the Finns with their special toys. So first we'll start with the basics. All engineers can build small foxholes, except for the Finnish ones who can't, they can only build trenches. Small foxholes can also be built by standard infantry, so I wouldn't advise getting your engineers to build them, but still, if you want them, you can. Next we have razor wire. This is fantastic, it's a mobile for infantry, as you can see, they cannot go through it, if we sell them to, they will run around it. It's not too hard to destroy, it can be destroyed with kind of um, high explosive weapons and vehicles can run over it. But in, if used in conjunction with other obstacles like tank traps, or in between buildings or rocks, it can be quite effective at tearing infantry, so it's something to use, it's just a bit of a pain to place down. I'll just demonstrate here, if you want to place barbed wire, you can only place it one piece at a time and you have to use shift to kind of line it together which hopefully they will address in future. Next is small sandbag emplacements. As you can see, these are tiny sandbags. You can quite easily pop a man behind them. They're a bit smaller, a bit quicker to build, but don't take too long. And then, obviously, next to them you have the large sandbags, which are far better. And you can even put things like a dushka behind them. And you can even use them to help defend small vehicles, because they will keep them slightly protected from enemy weaponry. Even armor-piercing rounds will slow down ever so slightly. Next we have the tank trap, you know these are very effective, they do take quite a while to build but the average engineer can knock out 20 of them I believe when they've got, because they have a limited amount of engineering kind of points which can be rearmed with the engineering truck, but these are very effective and to destroy them takes heavy explosives, you know heavy artillery or something like an airstrike, but they are very effective, they'll stop tanks, any kind of vehicles and if you place enough of them you can stop a vehicle getting through completely, you can also use them to cause vehicles to go certain ways so maybe block off one entry or exit so the AI has to push another way and you can lead them into a kill zone which is fantastic. Next we have the tank ditch which obviously is kind of filled in because it's on an editor but you can drive tanks in there and that will fit everything from something like a Panda 2 or a BT-7 all the way up until a King Tiger or an IS-2 and it will give them some protection because when they're in it the turret will be seen but the, the, you know, the hull and the sides will be protected thanks to the earth around it. So these are very effective, and you can place things like Flak 88s in them, or artillery pieces. So very, very useful. Do love a tank ditch, definitely worth it. Next we've got the large trench, which is, you know, large foxhole as they call it, but it's basically a trench. You can effectively fit five men in there safely. You can put more in. Three is normally quite good, one at each side and one in the middle. They are useful. They're also good for one thing. If a soldier gets injured in the trench, it's quite easy to get a medic in there and constantly heal them. And I do like large trenches, a bit less messing around. And if you hook lots of them up together, it's quite good. So infantry can move through the trenches if they're injured. Whereas if they're in small foxholes and they move out, they are exposed to enemy fire a lot more. Next are the exclusive ones for the Finns. So we have the heavy AA gun. Now you have to build this in three stages. So you have to build the base, then the kind of concrete walls. And then eventually you get to you know, deploy the actual AA gun. Now what is good about this, not only is the AE gun absolutely fantastic, I'll just demonstrate. The thing has a large range, I believe the range is just about 200 and something. It's pretty crazy. Yep, just shy, about 200. And it's penetration, I don't know the exact numbers, but I've taken out KBs, I've taken out the heaviest tanks with it. It's basically a 75mm pack. But it's also an AE gun, so you can reach for the stars. Now, this is but three stages, like I said. The first stage you build by yourself, but after that, if you grab three or four engineers, you can build the second and third stage together, which obviously increases build time, or, you know, decreases it, makes it quicker to build. So I've knocked this one out in about two minutes. So it can be very quick to build if you have more engineers, which is fantastic. It's a very useful system, and you can even put infantry kind of round it. They don't get onto the cover, but as you can see, if you were to drop a man off, you can quite easily get infantry stood around it with the weapons to make it even more deadly. And this thing can still fire and maneuver with infantry around it. Look, the gun does not, you no, know, doesn't. It's not a problem. You can obviously shoot them by accident, but having a couple of guys around it can make it impervious to, you know, getting flanked by infantry. And then lastly, we have the concrete pillbox, which I just took a guy in there, and you can quite easily get a soldier in there. Several soldiers. It's very effective. It's very tough to kill. This is an exclusive for the Finns. And if you get a few of these set up, because each Finnish infantry engineer can either build a heavy AA gun or one of these, it's the heavy engineer actually that builds these, but they are very effective, you get something like an MG set up, or if you're playing with an ally, like a multiplayer, get one of these built, 
and they are very tough. It takes the heaviest of explosives to take them down. Anyway, I hope you found that useful about the you know fortifications engineers. If you did, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also, tell me how you use your fortifications. Tell me how you kind of use them to your advantage. And if you think I missed anything, please do tell me. And I'll see you in com. Oh, no, I won't see you come back. I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day.